The holocron revealed much about the creations of war beasts, but Zayot's breeding pens provided a more immediate education. What a delight to have landed amidst fellow twisters of life. Among the Kisai are the Ninish Wadzakut, whose title translate as Knotters of Entrails. Through alchemy and manipulated breeding, they have birthed many hungry creatures to toil and kill for the Sith. The Saluth are mutated from beetles. Long ago, the Sith scattered them across the world of Kalsunor. The click of their mandibles became a dire drumbeat. These tank-sized scavengers can still be found on the planet, melting its ruined cities with sprays of acid. The Sith keep swarms of them in reserve for another campaign. During the same war that birthed the Saluth, the Sith introduced the Warbird and the War Behemoth, mainstays among the Masasi infantry even today. The Warbirds are used as mounted assault avians that can carry a rider into battle and rip apart enemy soldiers with their beaks. The gargantuan behemoths are used a little differently as troop carriers or walking weapon platforms. The guardian beasts called Tukata stand watch over the tombs and protect them from desecration. They have long been the royal companions of the Sith kings. They possess great tactical intelligence and can live for centuries without feeding. I would have died in the tomb of Din Glut had I not fed a Sith slave to the Tukata. The dark side dragons known as Hisis feed on rage and Kalia toxin that can infect a victim with blood frenzy in a single bite. The hatchlings of these beasts are exquisite. They crawl from their shells only after a throng of darksiders have been murdered in their presence. Among the more recent creations of the Kisai is the Talantatek. What a marvel of raw gluttony. The Talantatek feeds on the force-rich blood and thus hunts Sith purebloods exclusively. The Sith use them against enemies, yet fear the inevitable retaliation. A curious two-headed reptilian creature was recently birthed from the offal of 10,000 sacrificial birds. It is armed with a poison-tipped tail. I have classified it as a battle hydra, but I have yet to name the creature. My slaves are building an aviary for my free specimens. Some beasts are built to tear down enemy fortifications as my leviathans and the chrysalides are. These Sith beasts are nature advanced to perfection. I do not know which animal produced the first stock, but the chrysalides we have in the Sub-Zero paddocks are nothing but teeth, claws, bulk, and sinew. Also among the Sith stronghold are the war worms. I recognize these creatures of Flawn by the shape of their siege weapon. It has been grown to such a size that it could span the highest of Coruscant spires. I am eager to test one against the ramparts of the Jedi Temple.